goes back to the, the sniper. Good hero against pretty much what everything about, uh, they have so what far. What about Dusa? Dusa? Yeah. Is Dusa good against Razor Mid? Maybe Dusa gets run over this game. Dusa's okay. He just nicks his ass in. That's a big problem. Because I think Dusa does okay with his spam of uh, Snake. Five seconds Maybe. remaining. I think I think the sniper would be the choice that I go for. Yeah, I can't think of a better hero than. Some sort of like. What are some some? Because all pretty much all the melee mids can't go. Team secrets turn to Venomancer. Oh, that's an interesting pick. That's like. A hero that I thought was dead, but we saw Maneski run it a bunch, and it was actually pretty okay. So that'll definitely be able to deal with a 1v1 Razor mid matchup. Um, it's a remain. hero that does kind of abuse the lack of gap close, um, because as a Five core, he should be remain. tanking up to survive through the, the tiny burst, or at least that's what you're hoping. And he's just overall a, a great team fighting hero. It's the complexity smash, Paul. Every single time you look at Complexity's lineup, you always think to yourself, like, yeah, they could just, like, literally just five man into you, and they'll probably win that. So. The Dark Series is interesting, though. Are you convinced enough? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to go for Complexity here. I, I'm not fully set on the, um, the Venomancer. The Jakira opening is always kind of, eh. But I, I think... Cola has this. I think they're very comfortable with what they have, that's mm. for sure. Definitely cold picks, aren't they, Will? Uh, I think that I'm going to go with complexity as well. I think that the they're going to abuse the lack of communication and just like run at mid repeatedly. Like, what's the poor CTY supposed to do? I think that complexity takes this game pretty handily. There's going to be a lot of chat wheel, get back, being spammed, <laughs> either for <laughs> CTY or by CTY, one or the other. And plenty of circle drawings, no doubt, as well. Uh, right, uh, we're ready to head into the arena for the first game of the knockout and the bracket stages right now. Complexity versus Team Secret. They've got the kiss of death from the analysts right now. God help. Thank you very much, Paul. We are going to need to see if they need some help. Lacoste, my man, how are you feeling today? You excited to be on the main stage? It's North America versus Europe, the classic battle. Hmm, who to go for? Europe, North America, where I'm from. It's you versus me, pretty much, huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling pretty hyped, though. Um, first match of the day. Uh, this is where the Dota Madness starts, actually. It's going to be great because, you know, the group stage matches, it's over there. Look at him. He's giving a little uh, shushing sound right there, puppy. Um, but the group stages, it's a little bit more laid back, a little bit more relaxed. You get onto the main stage, and uh, the teams were still, like, goofing around a little bit in the lobby, but it's starting to feel a little bit more intense. Uh, based upon the way that the panel was saying things, it felt like they were much more for complexity. Are you agreeing with that? Yeah, I'm not sure about the Darks here, to be honest. Uh... Even though the hero has not been nerfed in the previous patch, I don't know what Ice Frog is thinking. The hero has been nerfed for the previous uh, 623 versions, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> uh, Look at overall, these guys. first time uh, I'm seeing Chen. Uh, no one plays it better than Puppy, and I was expecting them to actually pick it. Maybe even in the group stage, I guess they were saving it. Uh, I'm not sure they have enough uh, burst damage for this uh, CK and. Uh, We'll see how the landing stage goes, though. Absolutely. Got to wait and see how the landing stage works out. Uh, I'd kind of agree with you as well. The Darks here are a little bit of a, an operation compared to what we normally have. But Yapsor moving over to the side there. Looks like they're going to come and contest for the rune and trade off as we normally see it happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure Darkseer is strong enough at this patch. There are so much better offlaners. But uh, it's still going to be a Darkseer. You're going to have that vacuum wall. Uh, but there's no follow-up. I mean, you can try to, let's say, stun with Nyx Assassin. Or if Razor's going to get um, Shiva's Guard so to slow them down. Uh, maybe some cleave from Tiny. That's a possibility. But uh, there's no big combo. L the top lane is going to get focused a lot. I suppose Nyx Assassin with the Darkseer. Okay, it's gonna be Nyx and the uh, Razor. Never mind. So we're yeah, gonna they have. Yeah, switched it. It was uh, Ace a little bit earlier, but he's moving in towards mid and doing a lot of damage on the limp there. Gonna have just beaten the heck out of that Veno. And we'll. 
He actually took him down to 150 HP. That is uh, kind of insane. The early tree grab and then just able to walk forward. And honestly, with the next round of it, Lynn's going to need to be careful here. We haven't seen the new matchup really that often of a, a Venno versus a Tiny. Is this what you would have expected? I didn't expect Tiny to be a mid. Uh, I guess that's the reason why they picked Venomancer, because he does not care about the Razor. So I think Complexity didn't uh, think Tiny was going to go, go mid, but the hero has very low uh, armor, zero armor plus two from uh, just a casual ring of protection. So, but I think he's going to get harassed a lot from the Venomancer, especially uh, when he gets uh, higher levels. But yeah. This seems uh, weird. This time he's just going ham on him. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like a kunk of it almost, but uh, early levels on and yeah, able but he to can... break the salve as well. It's actually a smaller kunk with uh, five uh, tide ringers. Bottom lane though. Yeah, it's a lot of damage right there. And Fata gonna need to TP away. No chance for a kill, but he did just head back to the uh, tower and now gonna salve back up again. Yeah, he's not gonna come. For the next, uh, okay, he actually TP'd uh, to a tower, yeah. does not have any mana left, uh, still waiting for oh my God, rotation Lin. coming up from Chen. Oh, Abba, everything comes out, Ace draws first blood solo. <laughs> Alright, so, this tree grab is pretty good. Uh, Alright, this might be the new thing. Uh, I didn't see Tiny on mid, uh, especially against the range hero, he just beats up the creeps with a Quelling Blade for extra damage. This yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of insane. <laughs> The amount of damage that comes out from that. So we'll have to watch and wait and see if Complexity can come up with an answer to it. But Puppy now also starting to make moves around the map in a bit with his Chen creeps. It's possible at least. Where do you see him going early? He needs to focus a little bit on the bottom lane. Uh, just try to help Darks here. Uh, I wonder what I was wondering before the game what uh, build he's going to go for. Uh, is it gonna max the penance? But the new test of fate is pretty awesome because you can actually heal your teammates and you always heal yourself for the maximum amount. Yeah. And it's pure damage, so it's uh, it could be 400 pure damage once it gets to level 4. That's a lot. Absolutely. Well, the CS charts, at least for now, it's looking like CK, top of the marks, 14 and 10. Uh, Razor is up there as well, having gotten a pretty decent start to the lane. The big loser so far has mainly just been that Venomancer who's hurting in the mid lane. Um, I'm, I'm kind of waiting to see if there's any other rotations that complexity can make to try and help out that Venno at all, or do you just sack the Venno kind of? Oh, Venno's gonna farm, especially if he decides to go for Plague Wards okay. right now. I, I don't think uh, Ace cares that much about the harassment anymore. Uh, he's gonna okay. have to TP back. Well, bottom lane. Bata just running away. Doesn't want to take too much damage on that Darkseer. But also Mu getting a decent amount out of this off lane. He's been denied a few times by the Razor. But Yapsor is over there as well, going to be able to come and contest for his bounty rune. So he's able to get the first stun off. And a little miss, but the burrow strike, and Mu walks away. Yeah, it's easier to stun with a Sanking. Before, <laughs> they both had the same spell called uh, Impale. Uh. Now Sanking has his own stun, burrow strike. Well, in the meantime, Z Freak making his moves as well to go over and pick up an arcane rune. And the reality rift back. Trying to bait out that uh, surge away, but not going to be able to get anything really done. So, who do you feel like is a little bit more happy at this stage of the, the game? Well, Secret's doing fine. Top lane is pretty much one. Uh, Razor is uh, free farming. Uh, mid lane is uh, decent. And uh, they're sacking the Darkseer, which is, uh, I mean, what pretty much what Darkseer does, especially if he does not have a favorable matchup. Okay, they're trying to go make a go on him. Does yeah. not have a surge for the next two seconds. Oh, Fata in trouble. And is he going to end up going down? He's on 28 oh. HP. And the TP in, maybe? Going to look for it? Fata? He's just walking away. And oh, Puppy's there to make sure they can hold his hand and not get gone on. So Fata living. He's being sent, sent back, back to the base. Nice play. In the meantime, Kyle is going to take a little bit of a hurt as well. That amp damage is there. The pendants, they hit the Hadouken. He's going to be forced away again as well. Yeah, we still didn't see any rotations uh, from Chen. There's no smoke at all. I don't know. If, if he smokes mid, they can easily get a kill, especially if he gets uh, a better creep, uh, a setter, with a, or an ensnare, or the uh, mud golem. We prefer to actually 
get the good initiation on that Veno. Oh, he manages to take the Sal from Limp. God, it's so frustrating playing against that with the Tiny. Uh, Limp has been able to get level 6 now. Also, Ace only level 5. Which, I don't know if there's really much of a kill land. It's Ian just sort of, well, never mind. They rotate in, and that's going to be an out of toss. Limp going to fall. Yeah, he's not going to be able to find any kills from the grave. Okay. So, Chen just bought a Smoke of Deceit. He's ready to move once again. There's a haste on top for Nyx Assassin. I love the build on Nyx Assassin this game. Uh, he's actually going to go for Carapace. So against uh, heroes like uh, Jakiro, it's always uh, easy to land a stun. Yeah. Quite nice. And, you know, while they're sitting here in the mid lane also, it's just the tower starting to fall down low. If Nick Sasson wants to rotate in later, end up being able to make some stuff happen. I mean, the other big thing that the panel was talking about was the problems of a Chaos Knight in the later stages just kind of getting out of control. Is that something that you're at all worried about for Secret, or do you think they have them under control well enough? I think uh, they're fine, especially because CK was nerfed. It was 15 or 25 seconds uh, added to his ulti, which doesn't seem maybe that much, but, but it actually is. You can't play that aggressive. Uh, I've seen... Uh, who is it? Uh, Oliver from Penta, he, oh, loves, yeah. he loves to just use the Phantasm and farm the Ancient Creeps with it while he's farming and he pretty much always goes for Midas because CK does not have that uh, farm potential, he kills Creeps pretty slowly, then uh, that's one of the reasons to just uh, get those levels because his talents are pretty insane. Z-Freak oh. and gone on the surge forward of the Centaur, trying to make oh. sure that they have him, he thought that he was safe but didn't realize. <laughs> The wraparound was coming. Nice play there from Secret. So, yeah, if you lack initiation, you just surge a centaur. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Easy peasy. Well, they do get the medallion finish now on Z Freak. But meanwhile, Reality Rift pull back in onto one. They get only a one second stun, but gonna try and body block. Good play there from Chessie, but who's gank and who is? They rotate in with the Absor, hits the stun. There is an ice path, but they still have the CK under control. He pops his ult, he tries to turn it back around, but Puppy is still living through this, at least for the moment. Can he live long enough? He is gonna be able to walk away. So nobody dies. Yeah, Phantasm uh, was used. Maybe if uh, CK decided to go for, let's say, two points in Chaos Bolt, it doesn't matter, minimum stun is still one second. Yeah. But uh, just to lock down the darks here, maybe at maybe the early stages. Yeah, damage. that's why they usually you don't see Jakiro with an ice pad. That's one of the reasons why CK doesn't have to go for it. Just when he's about to use the surge, you use an ice pad and uh, you just lock him down. Absolutely. Well, again, forcing them back here. A lot of damage stolen. Move going for the epicenter. Just outside of range, though, and he's trying to bring them down low. Slowed by the caustic. Can they find the kill? It looks like with the creeps, they are going to be able to find the fish. No, he's living through it. He's able to get the salve and the walk away. Oh, Moo, he dove deep for this. Can they punish it all? It doesn't look like it. Seems like he canceled the last attack. I don't know if it would be enough uh, Razor with nine armor. armor. I don't think he could have gotten him there, to be honest. Yeah. Even uh, spend the mango. Interesting build on him. Mu loves to go for Urn of Shadows pretty much on every hero and especially on Sankey, which is pretty unusual. I, I still think uh, Urn is a must have item in your team. You need to have at least one hero who has it. Well, because, yeah, especially right now because you can upgrade it and it becomes a super late game item. Yeah, Spirit Vessel is amazing. Well, another rotation in. They've got the creeps running with the Darkseer there, it looks like. But a Burrow Strike in the top. They didn't find it before. Are they going to even get the Razor right now? He's going to be able to finish his TP away. Man, living on a prayer. Yeah, Z Freak uh, kind of struggling uh, with uh, Nature's Prophet to get some levels. A level 4 only. Well, have a toss, Z Freak. He's going to struggle a little bit more to get levels as Ace finds the kill. Ooh. What surge is this? But uh, next little bit as we go forward here in this game, it's looking like Limp trying to keep the pressure on this mid lane constantly. And Puppy brings in his creeps to make the turnaround happen on the Kyle. But with the Haster and the Shakiro should be able to play around him a little bit and just put the hurt on a Puppy whenever possible. He can't really hurt him. He has a Tango, Headdress. Look at the regen regeneration 11 per second because of that Sadder aura. Yeah. 
And again, oh, the mid -lane. rotation in for Limp as Ava is going to connect. They have the toss as well into the impale. They find the kill. He's gonna clean up those wards as well. I'm sure CTY down bottom. It's getting wrapped around upon with three heroes here, but Puffy, can he save his life? They're trying to go for the send back, but it's not gonna be in time. Well, they are gonna have to back out. Macro Pyre now down as the creeps are starting to get brought down low, and oh, Chen is gonna lose his little herd. Yeah, they rotated four people just to kill Razor, which is a pretty big kill for complexity. Um, he still needed one, one and a half seconds to be teleported back to base, four seconds uh, on level three. Nyx Assassin uh, is in Vendetta, they see they've him. Seen. He's yeah. into the Sentry Ward there. They're waiting for this. They want to try and go on him, and they are going to get the two second stun. Carapace is there. I don't know if it's going to be enough to keep Yapsor alive, though. The Razor rotating in, and they're going to go for the Vendetta. And the Impale to turn it, stealing all the damage from Jesse. He's starting to fall down low. Can they get the kill? It looks like the answer is yes. And Z Freak forced to TP away. Yeah, they didn't have any mana on the bottom. They committed just uh, too hard. Did they at least get a tower? Yeah, they actually got the tower, which is which is decent. But uh, losing CK, they need to have at least uh, the least deaths on uh, CK this game. Yeah. He, he's not the hero that can uh, recover that quickly. What's uh, he's sitting at? 4.5k net worth. Tiny has the, the most, actually. Tiny is a monster. Uh, Complexity will have to invest a lot of money in center wards and dust uh, playing against the uh, Nyx Assassin and uh, Tiny's gonna go for a Shadow Blade, which he almost has actually, which is pretty insane. But it's pretty nuts. And the other thing about it is with the status resistance and stuff, even if you want to invest into dust with that that starts to get the reduction onto that as well. Um, it could be a problem, but Boo looking like he wants to set up here does you realize Yapsor is in the area. It's going to be a lot of damage with the Vendetta hit as well as the hand shell on top of them. They get the Spike Carapus out. It misses, actually. So Mu able to turn the tides a little bit. They have Limp in the area as well, but no way to break that TP. He gets away. I was expecting a Epicenter there. Nice, nice jukes by Mu, though. Just uh, using a Sandstorm immediately. Going out of it so he can't use Spiked Carapus. I liked what I saw there, though. They were trying to just steal away as many of the big creeps from the Veno as he could with the Iron Shell on him while he was under the invis. But Razor now hitting that level 10 talent, 15 agility at this early stage. It's pretty freaking good with everything else that he's got in his kit. So how do you see the next couple minutes of this game playing out for either side? With the Shadow Blade on Tiny, what are they going to try and do? With the Vendetta and the Shadow Blade on Tiny, they'll just uh, try to get some kills. Uh, these uh, heroes don't have too much HP, especially Prophet 740. Venno also easy to kill, 1k HP only, so they can easily make rotations. Uh, take towers with Chen creeps, uh, Chen has an ultimate. They're getting themselves in the position here, looking for an opening, but Z Freak down in the bottom lane. Oh, Doesn't... tiny tipping mid All right, with Iron Shell. One. Yep, Kyle, unfortunately, not going to be long for this world as they find the finish. They actually give that kill over to Fada. Fada is like, where did that gold come from, huh? Oh, uh, he's going to be losing it now. Limp able to find that kill as well. So, Mu is sitting down there for a long time. He's going for a drums build on this. On a sanking? Yeah, I've seen him doing it, but um, I don't like it. You need to have a blink dagger on a sanking. I mean, investing in an urn, 900 gold plus drums, that, that's your blink dagger right there. I guess he just wants to be able to fight. Well, oh. get in trouble. We'll see if the drum's gonna be able to save. It's gonna be really tough though, and he's just going to burrow strike to the top lane, okay? Walking away, the urn keeping him alive, and Secret not able to finish it. I don't know, maybe, maybe it should just be a casual bracer and uh, go for a blink dagger because they don't have any initiation besides sanking. Yeah. So Complexity Radiance going to start to, again, push in this mid lane. They'd love to be able to get the tower. That's what Kyle was doing there in the last time around. But now they've placed down another Sentry Ward here. Make sure they can see the rotation in. And Yapsor, well, Ice Path going to be off the mark. They could try and turn this further if they want to. They've got a Reality Rip. The stun as well. Pulling them down low. The rest of Secret rotating as well. Z Freak is showing up. This is a fight that they would love to be able to take. Jesse is still living through all this. Ace is throwing the T and almost able to find the kill. They are going to take him down. With CK gone, the rest of Complexity might need to back out. Yeah, nice send back uh, by Chen there. And they were 
kind of too deep. Uh, Chen heal actually just uh, cancels the fight. They don't have enough burst damage on the side of complexity, especially without uh, sanking using the ulti there. Damn. Well, again, complexity forced to back out, and till at least CK is back up and alive. Now with a 2,000 gold lead, eight to two for Secret. Feeling like they're well in control of this game. Yeah, what, what is Chen going for? He's going for a max. So they just want to tank up and be able to fight, cancel all that uh, damage. I mean, Venomancer has a Veil, a level 1 ult is still getting uh, close to that level 12, which is a big deal. So, what, what does Darkseer have? He has... He's going for Helm of the Dominator, what it seems. So, an extra creep. More and more. And the region. The amount of region they will have over time region. This, this item is pretty good against God. the Venomancer. And look at that as well. Able to find that quick pick there onto the Sand King. Split up and farm is the call. And they are going to be able to get the deny on the tower as well. Yapsor picking that one up. Everything coming up secret right now. Well, secret uh, pretty much won two lanes. Uh, and Darkseer will always get a farm no matter what. Uh, Look at CK, he's actually struggling. He had that armlet a long time ago. Uh, Echo Saber is gonna come up soon. But still, it's a CK. They're gonna have a lot of armor and a lot of region. I was talking about uh, Helm of the Dominator build on the Darks here. Right. Which gives you... Let me just check. Oh. We really might need to hold that thought as we do have the Razor getting attacked. CTY in trouble in the top lane. It's gonna die. Limp fires that finish, so at least something now going back for complexity. CTY should uh, be more careful about his positioning. Uh, there's a lot of farm on mid, which he could have taken right. where Chen is right now. This is a dangerous place to farm. Complexity looking to try and push the tempo as well as they've got that top lane pressured in with four heroes. Jakiro starting to deal the damage to that tower. Slowly over time, and the mechanism now done. Uh, what's the goal with this mechanism here? Like, do you want to fight around it with the secret? Yeah, they, because complexity does not have any burst damage, so they can't burst anyone down. Uh, oh pro God! Provides uh, almost uh, 500 heal with the uh, mech and his ulti. Look at Ace here; he's just daring them to come at him right now. They do take down that tower. Secret looking like they don't want to fight if the tower is not nearby. Sanjin Yashi done the razor. Yeah, they're gonna be super mobile on the side of the Razor. Tiny's going for SNY as well. I mean, it's a pretty natural Tiny build because you just want to tank up, get that strength, get that extra uh, status resistance, and he needs a move speed, which he gets from Yasha. Right, but that's the biggest part. Either you go for drums and SNY, or just pick one. Now, again, you look at the net worths across the board, and it's starting to feel like there's this try core from secret that's going to be very difficult to deal with for complexity i mean we've all seen a ck get completely out of control but it's not really feeling like it's likely to happen at least at this early stage of this game yeah but it's still a ck yeah. at the end of the day and this really hurts him a lot that uh, 145 cooldown on phantasm we, we saw what one phantasm used bottom and uh, one couple of uh, minutes ago and that's pretty much it right Oh, I, I got a question for you, Lyrical. All right, uh, what let's happened do it. to your pubs yesterday? <laughs> like, uh, I, I was sitting behind Black watching you guys play. Let's not talk about that. That was a rough one, man. That was. Oh God. I mean, you were playing with Jack. Is that uh, why you lost? I will say that. We'll go. We'll go with that one. Right. Are we there gonna blame now. Jack? Definitely. We're not gonna blame your Earth Spirit. No. We'll, we'll, we'll not... even talk about that. What about oh, your Earth Shaker? Happens. Oh, and 19 happens. That's all we'll say. All right. A for blink dagger for CK. This is actually one of the things that happened was a blink CK just, you know, it, it shows out just how strong this can be, the burst damage that you get from it. I don't know, man. This could be uh, maybe the answer that they need. Yeah, well, the thing is with uh, CK, you use Phantasm, then you blink and uh, use Reality Rift and the uh, Illusions blink with you. I'm not sure who they can burst down. They need to find Chen, maybe just stun him, take him out before the fight. Okay. Uh, it would be quite good if they can get it before the mechanism comes off, but maybe need a little bit of RNG as well, getting a long-duration stun or something like that. Yeah, this is going to be a really hard game for Venomancer because of all that uh, region. Helm of the Dominator, uh, Chen heal with the mech, and uh, Darkseer is going to build into a pipe. 
which will mitigate all the damage from the Venomancer. Big smoke up here from Secret. Moving in the bottom lane. Looking like they want to try and find a pick off on the poor little Z Freak. Though, maybe the position for Prophet isn't who you want to gank there. And not really running into anybody as of yet. Maybe they'll just be able to take the tower and then move on from there. Yeah, Lil was talking about uh, position four, Nature's Prophet. I don't know if he can make it work. It doesn't seem like it's working this game. Yeah. Obviously a complexly classic, but Secret might have found the answer. And speaking of answers, that's CTY in the top lane yet again. Brought down. Up go. Complexity. Looking like they want to try and push this one down a little bit. TK has a Phantasm. Oh my goodness. There it is. Phantasm comes out and they blow him up. All right. You're right. There it is. They're being outnumbered. Once again, Razor getting caught before the fight starts. Well, well they do spot Yapsor there. Ace is also in the area. Jump forward and just gone. Puppy in an instant. They've got more here for Secret as well. They're trying to bring him down low. Moo in the same time. Able to get that epicenter off, bringing them all down solo. He's living through all this as well as Yapsor is going to die. Everybody's gone an ultra kill for Chessy. They're just going in one by one, and a uh, really nice play from Chessy there. Just hiding it in threes, uh, using that blink dagger offensively, taking one hero, then another one. Th they need to play around Razor. I don't know if it's a communication problem or what is happening, uh, but uh, Razor getting caught uh, two times when uh, their timing uh, was smoke and uh, trying to push that tier one and tier two tower. They, they can't push it without the Razor. And. Well, it's 9 to 8 now, and Complexity looking like they're in a great position. This replay showing, like you said, just sort of one at a time there. Everybody a little bit behind schedule, and I guess Secret thought that they could defend this Tier 2 tower? Well, they could if uh, there were 5. Right. Yeah, but afterwards, uh, really good play there as well. Chessy just hanging out in the trees, and then save your buddy syndrome. So... But the BKB looking like that's what they want to go for on the CK. Um, maybe thinking about Roshan soon for complexity? They need to take a fight first. Uh, I don't think they can take Rosh before they get a two or three kills from the Secret. We still didn't see any combos coming out from Secret with that uh, Vacuum, which is pretty hard. I mean, there's nothing to combine it with. I mean, Avalanche is only like a one second stun at that point. Not really what you need, but... Nonetheless, this moment in time, feeling like Complexity has been able to build a little bit of agency for themselves in this game and start to get towards that BKB for Chessy that might allow them just go ham. Yeah, I've seen uh, Razors uh, building a Mask of Madness a couple of times. I don't, I don't think that's the build here. It lowers your armor for right. seven, and you already have uh, Nature's Prophet with the Solar Crest and Reality Rift. Uh, CK can just uh, pretty much one-shot you. Yeah, it's a little bit tough, um, and I'm, I'm not really sure like how else you could really build around the, the reduction in armor that you get from Mask of Madness. I, I mean, I guess eventually it's Shiva's and AC, but it feels like that's going to be a long ways off. Yeah, plus he needs a BKB as well this game. Right. Oh. Kyle with uh, his buckler. <laughs> the classic. Classic Kyle. You got to see it. You got to love that man. You either love him or hate him, that there's no between. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Darkseer did finish off a pipe here, and it looks like Complexity putting themselves in a position to take a favorable fight as they head down towards the bottom lane. Capsor looking for an opening. Vendetta breaks. Wards hit him, and he has to run away. Even uh, Yapsor is uh, building towards that pipe. Once they have two pipes, they can fight. Uh, that's a lot of uh, magical damage. Mitigation, but they need to build up into armor as well. Oh, Moo, he's standing there. The gatekeeper spots Ace. He just gets Burrow Strike. Then they blink away. Yapsor still there. Don't quite see him as of yet, though. Oh, are they going to end up getting caught here? I mean, can Secret even take a fight if they get the perfect initiation? Yeah, they can. But uh, once again, they find Yapsor. Is he being sent back? Yes, he is. Okay. Well, Ace revealed as well there by the Sentry Ward, but... And it just feels like a Secret are in such a scary position. What does that perfect fight look for like for them? How, how do they start a fight where they win it? 
They need to burst one of the heroes down. Uh, I don't think they can burst down Venomancer anymore. It has a lot of HP with the uh, pipe as well. Maybe with Nyx and the uh, Shadowblade on Tiny. Just try to burst the uh, Jakiro before the fight starts, or find a Sanking, disrupt his uh, Blink Dagger. Okay, they're actually going for the Roche. Puppy knows something is up. How many times have we seen this, where a team is in a favorable position and then goes in for maybe a little bit of a greedy Roche and then ends up getting punished? We'll see if that exact type of thing could happen here as Secret is moving in. They want to come and contest for this. Sentry Ward's placed down as well. Justin just picked up uh, an Invis rune, so they're drawing on the minimap mini where they want to go. Just uh, go from behind. I don't know if Secret saw this because they don't have the vision on, in this area. So he can once again take down one hero before the fight starts. Oh, they do have one Sentry Ward down, although up on the high ground. And Yapsor walking away. They have another Sentry Ward down there as well. So they, it looks like they might be prepared. Yapsor, they walk into it, take that one down. With a CK with a BKB, they have nothing to stop him pretty much. Uh, Razor can oh. use. All right, this maybe is maybe a start. Dead they can get Gen. the Chen here at the very beginning of it, but he gets the hand of God off. He gets the back bomb. Maybe a decent way to start, although he doesn't have anything else in the tank. And Ace just got eviscerated there. A big impale, but it might just be to run away as Yapsor needs to back out. God, complexity. Yeah, once again, Razor is on the bottom lane, just trying to farm since uh, they can't take the Roche fight anymore. It's gonna be a CK with an Aegis. That's gonna be really hard to fight into, especially with a BKB. Yeah, had to use that first initial charge of it there, Jesse did, but the last couple of minutes, as we can see on those graphs, just heavily into the favor of complexity. 9 to 10 now, 27 minutes into it, heavily just sort of building into those items that make them so strong like right now. Like you said, the Buckler, the all the little things. Helm of the Dominator is there for the, the Darkseer, but I don't know. Feeling like Complexity or where they need to be. Well, they have a BKB with a Razor. What uh, they can try to do? Well, not now. I don't think they can take a fight uh, before the Aegis runs out. Maybe just uh, try to take down some HP from CK so his illusions... Uh, are not that strong, then clear them up after. Because they have nothing to pierce the BKB with. Well, one of the things that we talked about is the Nyx was able to steal away one of those runes as well from Kyle. Um, you know, it's it's secret that's really been under the gun. For complexity, how do you try and close this game out? All the tier two towers are down for them right now. What do you look to try and accomplish over the, with the duration of this Aegis? For complexity? Yeah. I think they're gonna go for a uh, tier 3 push. They don't have that best uh, pickup lineup. They have a CK and uh, Sanking. They have a good vision on the side of a uh, secret. I don't know. A secret built too much items, too much defensive items. Like you have a uh, Darks here with the pipe. You have one more pipe on Nyx Assassin, Chen with Mech. Uh, but I'm, I'm afraid who's gonna deal the damage for, for this team. What did they? Are they gonna run into that Nature's Prophet up there? Oh, okay. Trees are taken. They end up bringing him low. Z Freak trying to get away from this and oh, nice just fight. TPs out. Also, you have two four staffs on the side of complexity. I don't think Secret can actually kill anything. Yeah, it's uh, it's tough. <laughs> they really don't have much way to stay on top of these targets. Well, Lacoste, maybe that push that you were talking about is starting to come out. There is a. A little bit of a creep wave pushing in top, but besides that, everybody down here, get ready, says Yapsor. Kind of an ominous oh, chat wheel message. Kyle misses uphill with liquid fire. Again! <laughs> get your RNG out, man. No, there around. it is. Third time's lucky. Yeah. They're going to send this in, buckler them all up. They do get taken over now by the Chen as well. The most petty of holy persuasions. But this is the pressure, and like you said, where's the damage from Secret? They really don't have an opening. Vacuum wall, that's kind of okay, but again, the four steps, they force it back and away, and actually sprouted for the moment. It's going to be the Razor. Yeah, Razor who popped the BKB, no wall, no Razor BKB. They can take the fight easily for complexity right now. All right, just got to wait for that wall to dissipate, and then it's going to be time to go in for complexity, like you said. I believe they have a double catapult wave coming in as well afterwards. Once this one is done, 
Yeah, it's time to party. Let's let's see it. Thirty minutes in. There's and and they can't even split push. They don't have any good split push heroes. I mean, they have a oh, tiny. Base. This is a real problem. Reality Rift is out. He's trying to Avatos to turn it back around. They're slowed up. The ice pack onto everybody. Kyle making it work, but they do get the send back and the walk away. But they're still gonna end up losing that Dark Seer. They have no damage whatsoever. I don't know how they plan to start a fight. Oh god, and the blink forward, Yapsor gonna live for a moment with that spike carapace, but Chessie still hanging on to that Aegis, and it's gonna be time to actually hit these buildings here. So the tower starting to fall, Yapsor again with the spike carapace. Mu is off to the side though, ready for a counter initiation play, and there it is, the epicenter out. That is gonna be Kyle very low, but he's still gonna look through snow the tree. It does connect, and that's a kill. Razor walking forward, wants this kill onto Chessy. He is gonna go down, but it's just the Aegis. They buy back on Kyle as well. And they make this work. The epicenter turn around. They're doing a lot of magical damage down there. And Chen is gone. Now looking for more. Chessy trying to run Aegis away. Is gone. He's separated from the rest of his team. Chessy is gonna end up falling. This ends up looking a little bit better for Secret here. I was wrong, my friend. They can actually take a fight there, but uh, they lost uh, Ranger Axes, uh, Miller Axes with two Catapults. This might actually go down. All right, looking for this here now as well. They try and find Limp. Can they bring him down? Seafreak TP back into this one as well. There's going to be the Impale into the wall. Vacuum is back up again. They're making it work, but another Burrow Strikes. Try and separate. Everybody's living right now from Secret. Ace is kind of being kited around though, and it looks like they are going to be able to bring down one more as Z-Freak dies. They still have two buybacks if they want to commit it. A missed Burrow strike there as Ace was invis. Still dropping down very low. He has oh, 11 stick charges for though, complexity. and complexity well and truly falling apart. Can they even get out on any more of these heroes? Limp getting ran down here. They've got the four staff away. There's a haste and that should be enough to get complexity out. Yeah, but uh, Complexity dealt uh, so much damage to Tier 1. Tier 3 actually on the top and managed to take the Raxes. Also, Tier 3 on the mid, half HP. While the, because of those uh, double catapults, that's the best timing you want to go for once they spawn yeah. at 30 minute mark. Well, it worked out in some way at least, but do you feel like Complexity were... I mean, how, how do they feel about that little engagement? Like, they took the Rax at least. Right. Yeah. Well, Sanking used the solo epi on a Chen who already used all of his spells. Uh, they kind of missed Burrow Strike one more time on a Tiny. T tiny is um, kind of easy to kite, especially with double four staff, but you can't lock him down. That's the thing. Yeah. Now he has an AC. It's getting scary. That's for sure. Yapsor is still stalking Z Freak, but not a great opportunity to open up on him. Yeah, with the, the AC, CK will not be able to, I guess, one-shot the heroes, especially when when the Razor gets that uh, Shiva's guard, which he's getting really close. Only a thousand gold away. Okay, Sanking just purchased a, uh, a gem, but that's oh. gonna hurt a lot for yeah, Tiny and the Nyx Assassin. They pinged it out over there when he came out of Invis, and now they found him. So Burrow Strike is there, Chessie gets the stun, they pull him back in, and they find the kill. Smoke immediately afterwards. They know he did. They did he buy back in that last fight? Who? The Nyx assassin? Because it seems like they might have an idea. No, he didn't. But uh, they Kyle, don't know he Kyle doesn't have buyback. Back, actually, yeah, he was the only one. So, 34 minutes in with no buyback on the Nyx assassin, Complexity aren't aware of that. But they might at least try and test it and see if they could force it. Ace having to walk back home. He doesn't have a TP, and they are moving down to the south. Do they realize he's have to jump away actually and now they found one finding a kill Whoa. oh no the setback at the last second wow oh, what a play by puppy God, that was close getting out of there Radiance bottom shrine but 13 to 13 and now shrine starting to fall down see there as well Ooh, mechanism and a god <laughs> that was just on nothing <gasps> yeah, I think uh, Complexity does not want to pressure Secret until uh, they try to find a fight near the Roche or get Roche themselves before Secret contests it. And you think about that, if he goes down right there, that, that maybe is going to be a oh, second lane of Axe. really long respawn time on the Roche, almost three minutes. Yeah. 
All right. Well, what is the point where secrets start to feel more comfortable taking the fights? Like we saw in the last one, they were actually able to, at the end of the day, finish off a lot of the complexity heroes. Um, do you think they just need more time? And their heroes uh, scale really well into late game. I mean, Tiny's gonna get uh, six slotted pretty much, but uh, Razor with his talents. Now he has uh, 10 armor yeah. and uh, I guess he's gonna go for attack speed talent on level 25. If he steals a lot of damage, that's gonna be a lot of physical damage coming out from that Razor. They have a shrine, so Chessy should be careful. Yeah, we'll need to pop scary. BKB. Now run away, maybe. Are they thinking about taking that fight? That is a scary concept. And yeah, they back out. But BKB charge used. Maybe the, the beginning of something. I mean, it's still gonna get to this point, though, where you've got a CK with a heart. That's what he's building towards next, and I don't know what the win rate is on that item with CK, but I'm sure it's high. 63.45%. Uh, oh, nicely done. Thank you. I trust you completely. I'm sure you wouldn't lie to me. <laughs> I would I would never troll. Well, Nature's Prophet in trouble. Gonna get pushed back in, Avalanche, and beaten to death. Secret finding a pickoff. Things starting to look a little bit better for them in spite of 3,000 net worthly. That doesn't really mean a lot at this stage. Yeah, now with the Shiva's guard, uh, they can easily take down those uh, CK illusions with uh, Tiny Cleave and uh, Razor Plasma Field plus uh, just one Impale right. from Nyx Assassin and then just kite around the CK. I mean, if CK is without illusions, he's, he's not strong at all. Yeah. He ended up going for that 150 GPM talent as well. A little bit of a different one. You like that decision? Well, Razor has a BKB and uh, he's the only one who's gonna have it. Tiny does not build into a BKB because it's kind of useless. You have all that status resistance and magic resistance talent. Uh-oh. Have to hold that thought. Three seconds done. Bata jumped forward. Now that you will Scepter lift Nice up. play by Mu. Now, trying to make this work. There's a jump in. Jesse into everybody, though. Is this more than he can chew as Jesse tries to make it work? He gets a three second stun on the app store, forced it back again. Vacuum, no wall, no follow up yet. Macro Pyre laid down. Ice Path on top of it. Only caught the Nyx Assassin. He's being held in place as Ace is also trying to walk away. Slow down. They pull him back in, starting to bring him back down. The Sprout for the moment as well to keep him contained as they get the Yule Scepter lift up. The Tiny isn't able to do absolutely anything at all, but another big impale comes out as well from Yabzor to try and turn the tide of this fight as they finally bring him down. 70 seconds on the sideline. His ace is maybe going to end up going down. He looks like he is going to fall. Mu is on a killing spree and now looking for more. They're going to be able to bring down the Razor as well. CTY dies. Complexity are doing it. The fight started so good for Team Secret. They killed the CK Illusions pretty instantly, but with all the slow from Jakiro, when awards, uh, they pretty much can't move. And buyback right now, you can see as well, uh, these heroes don't have it. They're even caught Fata down here to the south. Mu gets the Burrow Strike right on the edge of the duration of it, but Fata will be able to TP back. Doesn't matter though, racks are going down. And GG is called as Complexity take down Secret in game number one. Wow. I guess they did not have uh, that damage I was talking about uh, on the side of Team Secret. Uh, they last so long in team fights, uh, but no one uh, actually deals the damage. And the amount of slow from Jakiro and Venomancer plus Caustic Finale, Epicenter, they.